bumuhos ang pakikiramay kina Bishop Dan Balais at Sister Tanet sa pagkamatay ni Lemuel, ang kanilang 41-year-old son dahil sa COVID. During the memorial service, Bishop Dan shared that this was their second Gethsemane experience when they had to surrender their children to God. The first one happened 20 years ago when their 8-year-old daughter, Deborah Joy, succumbed to a rare kind of cancer. Masakit dahil dalawa lang ang anak nila, but they believe that their children were seeds to the ministry that God has entrusted to them. After Deborah died, Intercessors for the Philippines, a national prayer movement, was birthed. Its mission is to equip the body of Christ to be the Holy Bride in this end-time season and to mobilize them to pray for national revival and transformation. Bishop Dan also believes that Lemuel is the seed for the breakthrough and the coming revival in the nation. Their sacrifices as a family and their strength to carry on with God's mission for the nation serve as an inspiration. Many church members, especially the youth, were steered up to be more serious in their faith and to live out the purpose of God in their lives. In planting, the seed buried in the soil seems to die. It sacrifices everything and is lost. But this leads to the growth of the plant. In the same way, becoming a seed and dying doesn't always mean physical death or martyrdom, but rather the willingness to sacrifice everything to follow Christ. Jesus, the promised seed, laid down His life for us on the cross so that we may be saved and bear much fruit. If we examine our lives, how much of what we are doing today is aligned to fulfilling God's purpose for us? Are we willing to die to ourselves so we may bear much fruit? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, forgive me for wasting my time, energy, and resources on things that don't really count in your kingdom. I surrender my life to you. Help me to die to myself so I can follow you and bear much fruit for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. For our application, ask God, what is your mission for me? Pray and write down your action plan and strategies to die to self that will help you fulfill God's mission in your life. Pakatandaan niyo, hanggat hindi nauhulog sa lupa ang butil ng trigo at mamatay, mananatili itong nag-iisa. Ngunit kung ito'y mamatay, mamumunga ito ng sagana. John 12:24. Ako po si Lara Kigaman Alcaraz. God bless you. God keep you.